Hey guys, what's going on today? I want to dispel a pretty common a rumor that's going around in the affiliate marketing space. And this isn't new. This has been going around in the affiliate marketing space uh, for a long time. And it's the fact is, it's just a, a myth. It, it's not fact. Uh, yet when you hear this, it, it kind of gets you in the mindset where you're defeated even before you begin. As a matter of fact, this rumor, uh, this myth, this false problem is actually very prevalent in all digital marketing. So I want to dispel that right now. Uh, really quickly, my name is Brian Brewer. I've been an affiliate marketer uh, since 2012, and now I help uh, people become better digital marketers and start their side hustle with affiliate marketing, which basically just means you promote other people's products and you can earn a commission. It's the easier way to do things, in my opinion. But anyways, here's the rumor. Here's the myth. Anytime I talk to a new affiliate marketer or someone who's been in the digital marketing space or affiliate marketing space and they can't get that initial success, they can't get any traction, uh, I ask them, you know, what what do you think the problem is? And 99% of the time, it's I need more traffic, right? I, I can't get traffic to my offer. And, you know, the problem with that is uh, traffic's not the problem, okay? There, there's traffic everywhere. You can buy traffic on Facebook and YouTube. You can get traffic from Facebook groups. You can get traffic like organic traffic like crazy from TikTok right now. You know, you can get traffic from everywhere, your problem, if you're not seeing success, is you're not getting conversions. That's what we really need to focus on. So so think of it like this. Uh, let's say you're promoting a high-ticket affiliate program. Like That's mostly what I promote. And let's say you're promoting this high-ticket affiliate program uh, where you can earn $1,000 in commission from, from one sale, right? So believe it or not, um, you know, making a $2,500 sale, which earns you a thousand dollar commission is not that much more difficult than making a $50 sale that earns you a $5 commission. It's just not the same, same process. The same steps are involved. So if you make a thousand dollar commission for every sale you get, how many sales in a month do you need to hit your number? Right? Like if you're just doing this as a side hustle, an extra two grand a month would probably be pretty good. Right? If you want to go full time, what, an extra five sales, 60 grand a year? Is that enough to quit your job? You know, I don't know. But the bottom line is, is you only need one person to buy in order to earn that $1,000 commission. So you don't need more traffic. You can go onto Facebook and you can do the old fashioned networking. You can make connections. You can, you can talk to people. You can figure out what their problems are. And, and you can go into certain Facebook groups that the ideal customer for the product that you're promoting uh, would hang out and then just figure out who's the right fit and then simply make the recommendation. And if you take the time to do that one-to-one -one high touch, you'd be surprised how receptive people are because we're we're just so sick of the automation and the, and the fact that we can't get somebody on the phone for support, right? Like if you're going out there and making com connections, you're going to increase your conversions like crazy. And, and at that point, if you'd make 10 conversations, maybe maybe you get one person to buy, right? So you don't need more traffic, right? So look at this another way. Let's look at this more of an automated way. Because I know some people are like, uh, you know, I don't want to go out there and network all the time. But think of it like this. Let's say you have a traffic source, and maybe it's an organic tra traffic source, or maybe you're, you're paying for clicks or what have you. Let's say you get 100 visitors a day, right? Or, or, or 100 visitors a month, or, or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. You're getting 100 visitors. That's their baseline. Let's say out of those 100 visitors or those 100 clicks, you get two people to buy. Okay, that's 2% conversion rate. That's pretty standard for a, like a direct response uh, campaign. So what if instead you followed up with those 100 people and you added value, uh, you gave some sort of template away that could increase uh, the speed at which they could implement the, the product that you're promoting? Uh, what if you just sent an email and said, hey, what can I help you with or what questions do you have? Right? If you did those things, then how easy would it be to take those 100 people or those 98 people who didn't buy and find just two more buyers. It would be pretty easy, right? Now you just took the same amount of traffic and instead of two buyers, you got four buyers. You just doubled your conversions. You doubled your income just by just by getting two more sales. That's gonna be a heck of a lot easier than trying to figure out a way to get another 200 views or another 100 views or pay for another 100 clicks, right? Focus on the conversions, that, that's the key. You don't need more traffic. This whole growth for the sake of growth um, you know, has, has got, you, got you messed up and you're focusing on the wrong things. now. If you're promoting low ticket products, um, first of all, stop unless they fit with your brand. If they automatically fit into your brand, then then that's fine. Then you're already focused on growing your brand probably anyway, so you're already focused on more traffic. But if you're just 
like figuring out a way to get your side hustle going, go high ticket affiliate products and focus on making the sale. Focus on the conversions. Yes, you're going to need a little bit of traffic. But once again, you can start a Facebook group, go on TikTok, uh, get a lead magnet, get people on email, and then just actually send them emails and ask them what they need and help them. Focus on the conversions and you're going to see success a lot faster. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you're watching this on Facebook, leave them in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, same as well. I'll go ahead and check in on those. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, always there's a way to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.